morning, everyone. Today is my sixth day in Hong Kong. I am going to the peak to exercise with two friends. Hello, Hello. 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 Hey, 你這個你這個。After a nice walk on the Victoria Peak, we came to this restaurant called Dim Sum Library, located at the Pacific Mall. These are spring rolls, topped with uni, that's sea urchi. The mayonnaise looks like a wave. These are steamed rice rolls, wrapped inside our black pig chashu and green onion. It tastes like regular chashu to me. These are black pepper wagyu beef cake. They taste heavenly good. These are mushroom buns. They are not only made with mushrooms, but they also look like mushrooms. How cute! And these are black truffle shrimp dumplings. Delicious! These are dandan dan soup dumplings. They are a bit hot and spicy. I don't quite like the taste of them though. These are siomai. Siomai are made with pork. Those tiny little balls on top are masago. Masago is fish eggs. I love the colors. These are grouper steamed dumplings. The fish is very delicious. This sugar piece sheet is cooked with the broth and Chinese ham. The ham and broth bring so much flavor to the dish. This is fish and udon cooked with the fish broth. Udon is a kind of Japanese noodles. This is dandan noodle. I don't like it. The fish udon, however, is so yummy. Tell them where we're going now. We are going to Grand Hyatt, Grand Hyatt Hotel. We're gonna have buffet dinner. I heard they have oysters. There are six different kinds of oysters. Six kinds? Yes, it says there are six, and each person has one lobster. I got the info from Open Rice. Are you serious? It used to be all you can eat lobster. I don't know. It says there's a limit. When I ate there previously, they have unlimited lobster, and they're very good lobster biscuit. I like to put lobster meat into the soup. They had a renovation the end of last year, and they just reopened the beginning of this year. Uh huh. So maybe they made some changes. I don't know. Each person gets the lobster, and there are three cooking choices. They are cold lobster, grilled lobster. So disappointed. Maybe that's not true. Maybe they revert to unlimited lobster. Okay, we'll see you later. We're now at Grand Hyatt Hotel located in Wan Chai. The cafe we are having dinner at is called Tiffin. The food choices here are reasonable, though not plenty. They don't have any sushi or sashimi, but the quality and the taste of their food is quite good. We confirmed that now they only provide one lobster for each person, and it can be cooked in one of the three ways. What I like about here is they have foie gras, and their lobster biscuit is pretty good.
They also have a variety of fruits, and those fruits are very sweet. I also like that they have a pianist and live music. This is my first plate, and this is my friend's plate. Here you go, the lobster in our lengthy discussion. This is the grilled one, and this one is baked with cheeses. The third one is a cold dish, and we didn't order it. Time flies, and today is already day seven. This morning, I had breakfast at Cafe de Coral and bumped into a friend. We had a little chat, then I left for the ballet class. After ballet, I took the MTR to Mont Cook, then walked from there to here. This is an area close to Waterloo Road. Today, I'm going to have a nice long walk to Chimsachui. Come with me. I love walking from Mont Cook to Chimsachui. In order to avoid the crowd, I'm not taking the Nathan Road. Instead, I walk close to Hong Mountain Hill. There are few people in this area, and it's a very easy and lovely walk. I'm finally in Chim Sa Chui. I'm getting a two-hour foot and body massage. This masseuse is nice, but she keeps talking to me about money. It's very annoying. I continue to wander in Chim Sa Chui after the massage. Specific places in mind. Here I am at the Rice Shopping Mall. I love coming here to do window shopping, since they have all local boutiques. After going to the Rice Shopping Mall, I walked towards Canton Road and passed through Harbour City and Ocean Terminal. There are big shopping malls. As I exited the shopping mall, I found this beautiful sunset. The Victoria Harbour of Hong Kong is truly gorgeous, but it has become smaller. I'm not taking the Star Ferry to travel to Central, located on the Hong Kong Island. I'm going to randomly pick a restaurant to have dinner. The egg tarts here are liked so much by our last British governor, Sir Lord Chris Patton. I love taking the ferry because the fare is very affordable, and the harbour view is so beautiful. The ferry journey used to be longer. Nowadays, it takes much shorter time to travel across the harbour since the Victoria Harbour is smaller from reclamation. See. We are already in Central in a flash. I'm now walking on this bridge leading to the central area of Central District. There are a few people busking here. This is the Hong Kong Observation Wheel. It had been stopped operated for a short period in 2017, but it was eventually reopened. Here's another group of people busking. Out of all the busking people here, he's my favorite because I love the music that he's playing. 
This music makes me feel so gloomy, mournful, dejected, woeful, just sad. This restaurant close to landmark to have dinner. The entrance is stunning, with mirrors on both sides reflecting each other, giving it a very spacious illusion. The black color also gives it a mysterious character. This waitress is now leading me to my table. Thank you. This is a Japanese and Italian cuisine restaurant. They serve both Japanese cuisine and Italian cuisine. It's not a fusion cuisine though. The name of this restaurant is Armani Aqua. There is a bar next door called Armani Privé. I ordered their set dinner. This is the first course. The sushi is so delicious. The sashimi is very fresh and flavorful. This is the second course. The right hand side dish is a vegetable with miso sauce. The center is tempura, and on the left is the dipping sauce for the tempura. Let me show you what it looks like inside. The miso sauce is so yum. The third course is an Italian dish, visa ravioli. I love the presentation, but the taste is just okay. This sauce here is very buttery. There are a few choices for the main course. This is the beef I picked. It doesn't taste as good as it looks. The beef literally has no flavor. After I finished the savory dishes included in the set menu, I still wanted some more food. So I ordered this lobster pasta. The presentation is nice, but the portion is small and it tastes like that they have forgotten to put salt in it. It looks even better after adding the parmesan cheese. Last but not least, it's dessert. This is part of the set menu, and this is apparently tiramisu. I'm not a big friend of tiramisu, but this one here is so well made, so I ate the entire thing. I wanted to head home after dinner. I'm now taking the tram to Causeway Bay. In Causeway Bay, I walked by this ramen place called Butao Ramen. I couldn't resist it, so I decided to have a ramen. You can consider this as the late supper, although it happened right after dinner. There used to be always a long line when this ramen restaurant was first opened in Central. I'm so glad that they don't have a line tonight. This is my green ramen. I ordered extra oil and it's too much. It makes the soup way too greasy. I usually finish the soup when I eat ramen, but not this time. I also ordered an egg and it tastes very good. Although I left a little soup, I did finish all the noodles.
After eating ramen, I went home, and here comes to the end of my vlog. If you enjoy my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Good night, everyone. Till next time.